a lot of the stories about your company tend to focus on the media applications, the journalistic ap applications. Are, what are the other areas that you're interested in? Well, um, even though media was our, our starting point, so doing sports and finance and real estate, um, we very quickly uh, realized that the real issue for us was going to be dealing with, uh, with big data. So we deal with, uh, we have some clients who are uh, companies that produce data themselves and license it. Uh, and for them, we actually uh, create new data products for them, uh, where there's the narrative, uh, some uh, visualizations. Uh, but I think the more important thing, and sort of the core of what we're going to end up doing, is really focusing on the data that companies have built in order to do evidence-based decision making. Mm. So companies, God bless them, uh, had, a, uh, had a great insight and that is they, they wanted to make decisions based upon the data that was out there and, and evidence in front of them. Uh, so they started gathering that data up. Uh, it quickly uh, exploded. Sure. Um, and uh, they ended up with huge data repositories uh, that were, had, they had to manage. And so a lot of their effort ended up being uh, focused on gathering that data, managing that data, doing analytics across that data. And then the question was, what do we do with it? Um, what answers? Uh, what answers are there? And while there's gold in that in that data, uh, for a lot of companies they don't have communication plans, and we actually play that role. That is, we can step in and say we'll actually be the bridge between the data you have, the insights that are in there, or insights we can gather, uh, and communicating that information to your clients, uh, your uh, your management, uh, your uh, your different uh, uh, product teams and uh, really turn it into something that is intelligible instead of uh, a list of numbers, a spreadsheet, uh, a graph or two. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you get a real narrative, a real story around that data. So the, the output there is, you know, if I'm getting something like that, I'm getting a report, I'm getting a document, I'm getting text that's actually saying this is what's important, this is what to pay attention to, is that, is that about right? Absolutely, what we produce is, the primary thing we produce is the narrative, the story. Mm -hmm. Um, along with that story, though, we can do visualizations. We can produce it as a, uh, a piece of HTML that gets published. We can produce it as a piece of text that gets emailed. We can produce it as a PowerPoint, as a PDF. But the important thing is we identify the audience. Who are we talking, who are we talking to? And what kinds of information do they need? Is it all retrospective? Or can we actually provide them with some predictions or some advice uh, with regard to uh, what's happening with them? So one of, our clients, uh, one of our clients is a large fast food organization. Uh, and they, God bless them, they, uh, they, they started gathering all the point of sale data for their franchisees uh, and spent quite a great deal of money doing so with the idea that if they had that data, they could provide feedback to the stores sure. and help them in their business. But that data ended up being stored in one big repository. They put out some spreadsheets and they found nobody was really using it. And what we're doing is we're taking that data and we're providing uh, a, what's functionally a weekly report that says, here's how you're doing. Here's mm -hmm. how you're doing compared to where you were last year. Here are your trends. Uh, here's how you're making use of the promotions that we're, we're running. Here's how you compare to your cohort, your people in your region. And the most important thing is there are some items that everyone in your region seems to be doing a really great job of selling that you seem to not be able to sell. Um, and we're going to tell you about the ones with the highest margin, and we're going to tell you, you, know, you sell five more of these a day for the next month, you make another 200 bucks this month. Sure. Um, and really providing that, that really focused advice mm -hmm. uh, that, um, that a company and all the divisions, all the tiny pieces of that company can use. But that report is for an audience of one. There's only one guy who cares about that report. Mm -hmm. There's only one guy who can make use of that information. Uh, but we can do it at scale. So we can generate 14,000 of them every week. Uh, everybody gets the report that's important for them. And it's, uh, it's a, a, a sort of a, an interesting and unique use of our technology. Yeah. Aimed at not just personalization, but uh, action, feedback, and an audience of one. So 14,000 ones. 14,000 right? ones. 14,000 ones. <coughs> now, do you see narrative as, and for lack of a better term, do you see narrative as sort of an entry drug to analytics? You know, where you can get people <clears throat> by using a form that people are already familiar with, we're sort of hardwired to understand narrative, but here's a way to start to understand the data that surrounds you without looking at rows and columns. I think that I think the narrative is the driver 
for analytics. That's a better term than entry um, drug. The, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, we're not. Uh, <laughs> sure, right, right. <laughs> if you want to think of analytics as crack, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I, I really think of it, it's, a, it's the driver for, uh, for analytics, and that is, um, if you think about the whole notion of gathering data, it's to make decisions. But you need to have, you need to have that, that information in a form that you can really look at and understand. But even before you are gathering that data, before you're doing that analytics, um, you need to know what questions am I trying to answer? Who am I talking with? Um, for some people, a spreadsheet is a great, is a great device. Uh, for most people, not so much so. The story, the, the paragraph, the report, the prediction, the, the advisory, those are much more powerful uh, objects in our world. And they're what we're used to. And so uh, for us, it's really stepping in and saying, tell us about your audience. We're, we're not even going to talk about your data right now. Tell us about your audience. Tell us what you need. And use that totally as a driver back into the data to do the right analysis, to figure out what the right angle is for this individual at this time, given this data set. Uh, and, uh, and, and yes, they, the, the, an the analysis is there. Um, it's always going to be there. Uh, but we actually want it to be that at the end of the day, um, uh, that spreadsheet goes away. Mm. Now, the last question is related to that. Do you think that we'll get to a point where spreadsheets are not the final draft of an analytics report, yeah. where we're actually going deeper or further, or it's more insightful, or yeah. as you're discussing, more personalized? Um, I, I think that the, the spreadsheet will, there will always be somebody who's using a spreadsheet. Sure. Um, <laughs> right. But uh, I, I think that uh, what we're finding more and more uh, as we talk with, with everyone uh, is that the, uh, the story, um, is, the, is, is really going to be the end point. The spreadsheet, if you think about it, the spreadsheet is for somebody who really embraces the data. And usually what that person does is they reduce that down to something that they're going to use to communicate with someone else. Right. They'll build a PowerPoint. They'll build, they'll build their, their, their two-paragraph executive summary. And what we're doing is we're taking that step. So uh, analysts will still take a look at spreadsheets, but the reality is, is that uh, the you know, executive, executive management uh, uh, individual clients, uh, individual franchisees, they're going to get a story. Uh, and uh, in the long run, for me personally, I would love to see the spreadsheet vanish uh, and get replaced with, uh, with the thing that is much more natural for us, and that is the story. Great. Well, thanks so much for being with us. Appreciate you taking the time.